How's it going, YouTube? Tyler the Hotshot Holler here. I'm going to be making a video for all you 5, 9, and 6, 7 uh, Cummins guys out there like me about how this Caterpillar oil filter that we can run on our engines, 3964596, is actually not a Caterpillar oil filter. Um, I discovered this the other day out of pure curiosity when I was, I uh, cut one open just to see and I realized that um, I had been getting screwed over uh, with paying for what was supposedly a Caterpillar oil filter that is not. I'm going to explain to you why it is not a Caterpillar oil filter. Um, my experience here, um, before I became a hotshot hauler, I was a heavy equipment uh, diesel mechanic for my local Caterpillar dealer. Um, but prior to that, I went to school with my Caterpillar dealer and learned a lot about caterpillar filtration and how seriously caterpillar takes their filtration so first off let me show you what is a caterpillar oil filter so caterpillar has a patented oil filter design they're the only manufacturers who can do this but here are their two items now I'm not going to potentially disclose anything or say anything that I shouldn't because I don't want to get in any legal trouble, but I will tell you what makes this oil filter different, and there's plenty of videos out there going into all of that. So first off, don't worry about the rocks and stuff. That was because I had to uh, quite literally uh, cut the casing off with a, with a cut-off wheel to get it out. Um, but, so first off, the Caterpillar patent basically consists of two major components this twine around the uh, filter media is a dead giveaway and on top of that this inside here if you can see there's no metal in this oil filter ooh let's not smash that sorry try not to smash stuff around so sorry there is no metal in this oil filter caterpillar is the only oil filter that I know of that does not have any metal in their oil filter. Most oil filters look like this and have metal all around them, inside them, and all that stuff. Caterpillar uses a plastic type material, plastic composite, and they also use a very flexible type of rubber, I get rubber, silicone, I don't even know what it is to be quite honest with you. Um, but, so this part was from the bottom, I, I, I cut it off for demonstration purposes, but Caterpillar oil filters, and this is a legit Caterpillar oil filter, have no metal in them whatsoever. Okay, so that is what the standard is for a Caterpillar oil filter. Moving over here to the Imposter Caterpillar oil filter. This oil filter I bought from my former employer, my local Caterpillar dealer. Um, just for the demonstration purposes of this video. I cut it open and here we are. Now if you do not believe me, think that this canister or that this filter was maybe not from this filter, go ahead and go buy one and cut it open yourself and you will figure out that I am indeed not lying to you. So first and foremost, um, the dead giveaway is obviously there is no twine on this filter. That was the first thing I noticed on top of there being regular metal in the middle and metal on the outside. That right there is a dead giveaway. This is not a Caterpillar filter. On top of that, and here's the bottom piece, it's all metal. That is not a, cal not a Caterpillar filter. The other dead giveaway is this. This is a signature device from Baldwin. Now I have heard many rumors out there that Caterpillar oil filters are made by Baldwin. I've heard that they're made by Donaldson. I really don't care who they're made from, but um, I will tell you once again, this is not a Caterpillar oil filter. But, and then finally, sorry, before I get ahead of myself, they have a spring. Caterpillar does not use these in their oil filters. They will not. They refuse. There's no metal in any of their oil filters. So, now my a little bit of detective work brought me over here to show me that, so this is the same filter for the 5967 made by Baldwin. Um, so with a little bit of detective work, you can kind of put two and two together um, that this oil filter, I'm going to take a guess, a very educated guess, was made by Baldwin. Um, like I said earlier, I've heard many rumors that Caterpillar filters are made by Baldwin, made by Donaldson. I don't care who they're made by, um, but 
putting evidence side by side, I will show you, and I think it kind of points towards that they're made by Baldwin over Donaldson um, because these filters are 100% identical. So first off, let's start with the top pieces. These top pieces are completely identical. Like the lips are exactly the same, the screw on threads, the whole placement, literally these fit 100% perfectly together. So these are identical pieces, 100%. Moving on to the obvious. The signature Baldwin plastic. Okay, off of each. Next is the filter. Okay, one out of the Baldwin and the Caterpillar. Caterpillar on the left. Okay, these are 100% minus the missing bottom. These filters are 100% identical in their makeup and design. And then, in the bottom of this canister is the spring. Let's see if the springs are identical. Let's get them going the right way first. And these springs are identical my, my, in their shape, I mean for the most part, minus their color. The one from the Baldwin is a little grayer than the one from the Caterpillar oil filter. Check their tension. You know, the one from the Baldwin actually feels like a stronger spring. I will be honest about that. It, it definitely feels stronger than the one from the Caterpillar. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a stronger spring in that, bottle, in that bald one. So, um, yes. So, <laughs> that's that, guys. I just really wanted to show you. I was kind of blown away, and I know a lot of you 5, 9, 6, 7 guys out there run these Caterpillar oil filters. But I will tell you, you are paying for a product that is not a Caterpillar product. You're paying for a bald one. Um, it looks to me, I'm not going to say you're paying for a bald one, but I'm going to say it looks to me from the evidence in front of me that you're paying for a bald one. So you might as well just buy a bald one. Um, and here's why. The bald one, uh, the Micron ratings are actually uh, uh, public knowledge off their website for this oil filter. The Caterpillar Micron ratings for this oil filter are nowhere to be found. So. You're going to pay less, and you're going to actually know what you're 100% buying with Baldwin versus this Caterpillar one. Because this Caterpillar filter, I will tell you right now, does not meet the Caterpillar standard for oil filters. The one back there, that is the standard for Caterpillar oil filters. So, um, now, why is that? Like, why is this Caterpillar oil filter, this non-Caterpillar oil filter in a Caterpillar case? Well, truly, I don't know the answer to that question. But I do know in my experience of wrench turning that really on all Caterpillar equipment, I really only maybe installed about eight different types of oil filters. I never once put this oil filter on any piece of equipment. So I have no idea what it goes to. Um, but anyways, guys, that is that. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Any questions, comments, anything like that, throw them in the comment section. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, just some good knowledge for you guys. Have a good one.